Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, we'll be showing you the new option of chamfer recognition. What I'd like to do on this part is to add a chamfer on all of these edges over here, including these edges down over here, also doing that making sure that the tool does not gouge into these corners over here as well. So for that we have the operation now called chamfer recognition. If I were to go into my operations and choose the option of chamfer recognition, we'll go into our choosing of our geometry. Choosing of our geometry is very simple. All we have to do is just choose the entire part. Now we have filters here if there are holes that we don't want to have them doing a chamfer on those. So I can have a mil minimum diameter of say 20 millimeters. Anything less than 20 millimeters, it will not do a chamfer on those edge. All I have to do now is just click on the part itself and it recognizes every single surface where every edge has to have a chamfer added to it. Next, I'll choose the tool that I'll be using for my chamfer. In this particular case, I'll just use a regular spot drill to, for the chamfering itself. In my levels area, we have our chamfer depth. In this area, I just write down the depth that I actually want for the chamfer itself. So if I want a half a millimeter chamfer, I'll write down the value of 0.5. Now in our technology, we have the following fields. We have the cutting diameter, which is the cutting diameter that I actually want to use of the tool itself. And an, an important factor is the safety offset. This actually calculates how far away the tool must be from those edges where we do not want the tool to actually gouge into the edge itself. Of course, we have our links. Let's just do a quick lead in of normal with the same as the lead out. And let's take a look at our simulation. If we take a look at the simulation, and I'll run this slowly, you'll note that it's working on every single edge on the part itself. And you'll note that it put a chamfer around these edges, around these large holes over there, the small holes it did not touch. And note in the areas where the tool has came close to the wall, it actually stopped before the wall, not going into the wall itself. This was done all in one simple operation. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com, and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.